Hey people, Imjit here. Welcome back to some Age of Wonders 3. We are still rocking along with our necromancer. He's heading towards this elven island city of, what is it called? Iluman. And we're going to turn them into undead because that's a nice kind thing to do. Anything we want to get here. Oh, we want to start putting these embraced darknesses down, that's for sure. They're only five mana per turn. And that's going to be fun. It's going to turn all of our leader our leader and all of our heroes evil as well it also gives you drain life or sorry life stealing if you are produced within the domain of a city with it i'm not sure why actually we got vision over choyan over here does anyone know it's really far away so i don't think it was that within 16 hexes spell thing we have whispers of the fallen was it can't be Oh, hero. A warlord. We can't afford him. What have you got? Projectile resistance. Norshin the raven. And, uh, oh, he's armoured. Okay. Should we say we want another type of hero? I mean, a warlord's pretty good. Uh, yeah, not now. We can't afford you yet. We're not going to be able to afford you for a while, actually. You might just leave. They do just leave after a while. Let's get that going. And uh, you guys can head back to Barbarous. Maybe we should have taken the Banshee with us. But uh, I think we'll be okay. Army requires your orders. Yep, you hang out there. That's the new Royal Guard that we just produced. Getting a temple now. We could... Wait, we could cancel the temple and cancel this and then we'd probably be able to afford him, but I don't want to do that. I guess we can ca cancel the temple because it just started. And then merchandise and then next turn we'll have enough for him. Yes, that's fine. Do this. Okay. We need to spend a turn embarking now. Oh, we actually have a quest down here, don't we? Yeah. Next turn, this Whispers of the Fallen research for fighting stuff is freaking awesome. Oh, maybe we should have grabbed this shrine over here before we came into this fight. We'll be alright. And, uh, Embrace Darkness, the first one is ready. But we're going to want it in every city, pretty much. At least these, these two to start off. Zeti the Sleek. I don't know how we met her. Okay, there's Embrace Darkness. We want another one. New research. Um, Vampiric Hunger. So you get life stealing from this anyway. So uh, the Embrace Darkness thing doesn't make a huge amount of difference. I guess Cavalry doesn't get it with this. I want to go for Bone Collector. Hero joint offer. Oh, we can't. Why has our gold gone down so much? What did we buy? All oh, right, we're starting all this stuff now. And you're probably starting some stuff too. Yep. Let's just get this hero in our midst. There you go. You can defend Barbarous. And uh, now we've got no gold for anything. You can just all merchandise for now. Oh, unspent upgrade points. So, uh, Field Medic is not going to help us out. But we can get Defense Command. And Range Command will actually be good for us. And we'll get Melee Command as well. Otherwise, um, Resistance will do for now. Production for Barbarous. You're, whoops. You are just going to merchandise, please. You can't afford anything anyway. We'll do all of the things to buy next turn. Ella, down here. Now we have a full stack. Gonna go to that trading post next turn. Oh, hang on. Can we get to the berries? No. Yeah, we finally got up to this island. And it's still independent. Or is it? It is. Thought it was on Marcus Colors for a second. 
Uh, a single bard? What? Whatever. You're going back here, starting to build up this Warlord's stack. We've got a reanimator already. we got a reanimator there as well, yes. And we'll sort out what you're going to buy next turn. Oh, Plantarian Alignment. What is this? Oh, completes the current research for all players. I guess that's why we got whatever the hell we got so far. I don't even remember what it was now. How evil are we? Only slightly. S certainly not evil enough. We're going to want to be spending 20 mana to get Embrace Darkness in all of these cities. So uh, we need mana income like crazy, please. Uh, it's a single bard. I think we can auto that. Thank you. Got some research out of Whisper of the Fallen. We're just going to sell this for gold. Thank you. We don't want no peace. And then we kill you. Very, very much. Why, why are these bards here? Oh, this is from the previous quest, I think. Let's do our production stuff first. Weeping City. We want a temple. Barbarous. We want a temple. Lake of Bones. Uh. Temple. Embalmer's Guild? Temple. Embalmer's Guild? Wooden Wall? Just literally just gives you a wooden wall. We can't afford it anyway, so just do that. Into a temple. What does the harbour do? Literally just gives you ships. Doesn't give you more growth or anything. Nope. Okay. Alright, we're going to kill the trading post over here. Wait. Let's do this first before we forget. Don't think we'll start another one up here now because you're not going to be producing units anytime soon. Anything else we can get? We can get another Banshee up. We could get another Banshee up. I think there's value in that. Let's do it. We've got the mana. Uh, yeah, you fight over here. Declare war for more evilness. Manual combat. It's a nice lush island. They have some spears, some bows, some storm, oh, just initiates. And they're not doing anything. How far up can you get, White Witch? You can get to there. So I'll put the Mammoth here and Frozen Flames you. And then just defend with the Mammoth. Banshee can move up under a little bit of cover. Harpoon Throw, I love these guys. 64 hit points now. Typhus, do you have any nice spells? You do, but none of them are really useful right now. You though, Borker, well, how come you can move further? You're gonna throw curse? Curse those guys. Yay. Herald, I know this is really useful. Right now. Need to get your throw curse so you can do that. Okay. Mammoth is gonna charge. Ooh. We'll get a kill here. But we'll be under big threat from the High Elf Union Guard. So, we come here, try and get some damage on them. Despair, they've got absolutely woeful morale now. Worst, the worst morale ever seen. So I think we are going to take this devastating charge. We should one-shot these guys. Nice. And these guys will come up, put a little bit more damage on these fellas. Harpoon throw up and also get some damage on. They'll probably get a flanking attack on our mammoth, which will be painful, but he'll take it. Let's go and tie up these longbowmen over here. So these guys are all dedicated to evil now. Yes, but they're still not actually undead. We don't have that uh, unlocked yet, that research. Do we want to do this? No, because it's going to affect our heroes. We'll just do this.
Decent damage, decent damage. All oh, right, King, killing momentum. I keep forgetting about the killing momentum. Die. Nice clean win. And you're going to get ghoulified. My great, yes, more evilness. So this is going to shrink to an outpost because of the lost population. But that's all right. Now we can kill these bards. Are you all bards? Yeah, halfling bards look weird. I don't really have found a use for this, for these cadavers. I guess that once you get a, uh, once you get bone collectors, they can offer their bones to the bone collectors, make them stronger. But I don't, I don't really see the point in actually walking around with them unless you're really short of units. Oh, might be able to get a nice whale here. Oh, that's still going to affect Borker. That wouldn't. I think we need to teleport here. No, I pressed the wrong button. That was absolute failure. Thankfully, both of those guys uh, resisted it. Gonna get... Oh, do we get a Frozen Flames Devastating Charge? I don't think we need to. We both would have critted there. That was weird. Uh, you can do this. You've already thrown your attack. You can do this. Alright, the Mammoth can go again. Keep forgetting. The mammoths are freaking awesome. Another crit. Smack. And they critted. How dare you. So completely messed up our Banshee move there, but it didn't actually matter. Uh, I don't, do we need to look after this place? I mean, it's on an island. We've got a champion harpoon thrower now. Uh, all right, we need to do this fight. Not sure what to do about that city, if we keep something there to defend or not. I want to get a banshee into into uh, Ella's army over here. And then maybe we could just send one of these hunters or this raider over to defend that new newly taken outpost. Oh, what the hell are we fighting here? Dwarves. Dwarf crossbowmen. A priest looks like. Some little axemen. Nothing, nothing major. Can we charm any of them? Why are you out of range? Fine then. Let's just smack something in the face. You. Let's get this. Hopefully, you get it. Oh, come on. Get some despair. Damn you. Sent you up quite far, I think. Tiger. And oh, look, you throw these little blades. It's pretty cool. Be able to bleed him. Yay. And the Royal Guard. You're gonna do the Pledge of Protection over here. Which automatically puts you in defense. And end turn. Those guys are bleeding. These guys are annoyingly still alive. Guarded by flames. Gets a shot on. Gets a hit on. Throw some stones. And a shot on. Ouch. Bad news for those hunters there. They lived, how dare you? Hmm. I guess we'll take this. And get the kill. Definitely need to kill you. You need to move the hell back, hunters. Stay there. Ella. Can we charm someone now? Why does it say we're not in range? I don't understand. If I move 
here. Now we can do it. Only 35%. Oh, we can charm these guys from here, apparently. Try it. Resisted, but now they're shaken. Still got our animators. I guess we need to get the kill over here with these guys. Royal Guard might go down if those crossbowmen come up and get a shot. I've only got seven hit points. So that sucks. Down they go. An explosive death. Ouch. Wow. That was painful. And unfortunately, we can't reanimate them. Can you guys get close enough for this kill? Yes, you can. Really good movement range because of the because they're tigrans. You guys can get this. And you can get this. Which hopefully gets the kill. Unless you roll really badly. Can we just kill you with this? Unless we roll really badly, we will. Yay. We've got maximum roll. So we lost our royal guard, which is really bad. But we get plus 20 gold per turn out of this. And look at this. Devour corpse. And some gold. Or just more gold. Or just some more gold, please. That can be some gold. So you head back in here to heal up. And then we've got this freaking giant spider and ogre over here. Which is pretty scary. Really? Uh, what the hell do we do with you? What the hell do we do over here? I guess we can just... Yeah. Let's take the Frostling Raider. You're going to come and join this place. Uh, and you. We're just going to start cleaning up our own territory here. I don't really want to expand anymore right now. Because we're spread thin as it is. And we've got a nice four cities up here. Ella's upgraded and leveled. Stunning touch is nice. Magical affinity, let's get that. It's an awesome upgrade. Um, dispel magic's always useful. Let's get some range damage and some hit points. You require orders, you're just gonna hang out in here. Brace darkness is up. Declared war, yes we did. Now we are evil. So you wanna get the maximum evil level. I'm not sure what it's called, but then we'll get the prime evil empire quest done. So what did we decide? I guess markers to our left. But where the hell is that rogue we, we, we met somehow? Oh, it's because of this. Look. There was a battle fought here. So Zerti must be to our north. That's what revealed her, I think. I still don't know why that uh, independent city was revealed. Race governance. Rail guards. Plus one defense and life stealing. That's pretty good. All walls and glacial totem are 50 gold cheaper. I think we'll go for this. Plus one defense. Oh, we need to rename you. You're kind of lush, so it's called you the... Oh, is it going to fit, though? No, it's not. What about Nogal's Garden? Nope, Nogal's Guard. Damn you. Uh, decayed Forest. Nope, nothing's working. Uh, we'll come back to you. Someone someone, give me a name for Illumin that will fit. I might actually come up with my own name before you uh, see this video. Oh, I guess we can take out this inn. First port of call is this place. You need a something to produce. Builder's Hall. Into a temple, into a lab, into a wall. Good, good, good. And when you expand, we'll get some mana out of that, which would be nice. Legendary Sunken City. We don't want to mess with that right now. We've got some Kraken and stuff in there, which is nasty. Uh, yeah, you're doing stuff already. You've shrunk to an outpost. Yep, alignment changed to evil. Beautiful. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, maybe you guys can come and grab this shrine. Oh, once you've got a full stack... Go and grab that shrine. Can you actually get anything good here? Not really. Well, we're going to give you the Banshee. 
Mercenary camp. Irregular units give get some buffs. Okay. Cathedral of Bones. It's a lot of mana. Guess we just grab the War Hall if we can. Then we can start getting Royal Guard and stuff. Next turn. And she's ready to go. Oh, we can call this uh, Bubonicus, which is a Nurgle demon world, I'm pretty sure. Bubonicus. I think that's how you spell it. Let's fight this in. A bunch of elves. Very likely victory. We've got champions and elite stuff all over the gaff in this army. Done pretty well for us. Borka's still in here. He's actually out leveling Typhus. So I think Typhus has gone down a couple of times when Borka has stayed on his feet. Okay. I think we'll get a nice nasty charge here with Frozen Flames up. Oh, well, we can only charge that freaking high off Union Guard. You still can't do anything great from your casting. Walker, though. Oh, tying up the Longbowman is pretty, pretty tempting. We go into Whale of Despair, maybe? If you teleport up. Why does it... Why does it keep doing this? Oh, it's because I'm... I'm clicking Weight of Despair and then trying to move. But it's actually moving and then doing it. I need to keep an eye on that. That sucks. But it's my fault. Okay, Borker. You're just going to tie these guys up. And level. What the hell are you going to do? Do you want to take this hit? Not really. Let's move you up a little bit. Ready to charge something next turn. Let's go over here. Twice I've messed up that Banshee screen completely. Longbows. Going to kill a uh, Walker there. Can never truly kill a vampire. You're dead. Um... I mean now, oh we can't do the freaking scream now. Has first strike. Even if I flank you, you have first strike? That can't be right. No, there we go. Big damage. Now we can get a devastating charge back here. A crit as well. That's going to be massive damage. Holy crap. And killing momentum. The mammoth is kicking ass here. It's not even champion level yet. Okay, what do you have? You have a Dwarf Firstborn, but we can't afford you anyway. You make your way into Bubonicus. Where are we going to go now with you? There's a gold mine up here. We could clear out for a little bit of gold, I guess. We're just going to move through this area, just killing everything. Take that out, then up here. Take those mana nodes out and come up to these dungeons, which haven't been touched yet, which is nice. Oh, Banshee. For you. Upgrade your hero, Borker, doing some good stuff. Um. Okay. Got a lot of good choices. How does this do? Oh, this is cadavers. Hmm. Control undead, I guess, is the easy choice. Get some hit points as well. Oh, someone's got Eternal City. Someone's already got a Metropolis. Holy crap. Anything I can get here. More Banshees, maybe? Don't think we want that right now. Don't think we want that right now. We need to keep some decent income on our old mana. We've got some good gold income now. Got this um, gold mine. Got that trading post on that gold mine. Do we want to kill that? We might get a unit out of it if we kill that, some kind of animal. Upgrade your leader. 
Crow Curse. And what was the other thing I wanted to get? It was another three cost, I thought. Damn it, I've forgotten. Maybe it was just past war. Might not be relevant now, but we are going to want that. Cause fear is pretty good, but let's get past past wall. It's gonna be great for attacking the cities later on. Barbarus needs something to build. Uh, we don't need a mana cap right now. Oh, but we do need this to get the bone collector. So I guess we need to get that. Great temple now. Observatory. Yeah, we need some faster research. We need some faster research, and let's get the great temple too. Hurry up and get in there. Lonely defender. Uh, no, I think we'll leave that shrine for Ella to grab. Don't clear out this mine. It should be very easy with our army, so we'll auto it. Nice little bit of gold. Oh, another gold mine over here. No mercy! Auto it. And get some nice kills. Banshee's starting to level up now, getting stuff every level. Inflict, stop moving. Inflict exhaustion fatigue now. Inflict frostbite's already up. It's just charging up our research for every every battle here. Next turn, might be able to auto all of these. This is a three stack. This is a two stack. What is this thing again? Drinking from the well will heal units, but the living will be transformed into ghouls doesn't really affect us that much there is a empire upgrade which means that um all of your leaders will turn everything into their stack into ghouls every turn kind of thing oh, what is this level legendary we'll have a look in there let's go no freaking mercy we can auto this again i think yes oh give us a kobold and 55 gold. I think that's worth it. We only get a little bit more if we sell it. And the kobold can go help defend Bubonicus over there. Oh, no, no. Don't take the shrine. Damn it. When will this recharge? Five turns. When are we going to get full stack here? Don't think it's going to live up. Chamber of Mysteries. So the uh, that's from the mod. If you want to check out what mods I have, you can go to the description. They're all in there. So the mod adds tier 3 mounted support units for all of the races but it doesn't add one for the frostlings because they already have a tier 3 mounted support so they get a tier 3 mounted uh, me re melee unit which is pretty cool what is this support units receive a bunch of stuff that's pretty cool but uh, after that's finished I guess we're gonna get a royal guard over here try not to have that one die next turn kill some penguins next and the Marta. How did these fellas get together? If I see a Marco won a battle, where? Don't know. They are my domain marker. This isn't going to be a super strong city for us. I mean, it would be if we could take this. But, uh. Oh, we can't vassal things. Can we just not... Oh, because it's a ghoul city, you can't vassal it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I figured, figured a vassal would be better at defending it than us. Weeping City is going to get that royal guard. Oh, we could get a white witch. We can get both of them. Let's get both. A white witch and a royal guard. And then, get me a great temple and then a laboratory. So much good choices. We want all of these things. Oh, maybe we should get the Magic Cat Academy before we get the White Witch. There we go. And then just chew up these things. We could rush it, but I think I'll keep that gold for now. What are you getting, Barbarous? You're getting a, an Observatory. We could rush that for 100 gold. You fellas. Only just now getting your Builder's Hall. So we're going to kill these penguins over here. Don't cast spells. Auto combat. Oh, he stole. Oh, we just made a cadaver. Which isn't very useful for us. At all. I mean, go up here. These guys naturally drain hit points. So if they aren't in 
a stack with something that can heal them every turn, they fade away. It's all Grimbeak Crows, really? And a tier 2 carrion bird. We haven't seen a carrion bird, I think, so let's have a look at this thing. Ah, oh, it's a cool map. Who came up here to build a well of souls? There's that carrion bird. It looks cool, I want one. Can I have one to ride on, please? What's he got? Oh, you've got Dark Gift because of the uh, Battlefield enchantment thing. Lifesteal, dedicated to evil. Right, do you count as undead? No, it's just on mod. Oh, he is undead. Maybe I can steal him. 42% chance. Yay! How long do I control him for? Oh, we should be able to finish this fight. Just get in there. Get some damage on. Get some damage on. Um, immobilize, I think. Devastating charge? No. I guess if you have, if they have first strike, you can't charge them. Which um, I don't know if I was aware of that. Ah, oh, you almost died. Oh, now we have a carrion bird, but you can't move. And you have killing momentum. You're the best unit in the game, Mammoth. Best thing I've ever seen. 110 hit points on this tier 2 unit right now. That's crazy. Uh, you get the charge here, Typhus. And we get a carrion bird. Yay. Which uh, we actually should keep because it's undead. So we're going to send... Okay, we can send this white witch down here. We're actually up to... Uh... I guess everything's going to be undead anyway. Do we have something that's not undead? No, we don't. Okay, carrion bird. Just go back to Barbarous for now. We need that thing that makes all of our heroes undead. Oh, we can't make it to the freaking haste berries. Shall we have a look in here? It's legendary. We have not even got a tier 3 unit. Not, not, not right now. Not right now. Kobold. Get on a little boat. Next turn. Bone collector soon. I think only Barbarous will be able to produce them. Because they've got they're getting that thing. That's how we get the Deathbringer then, the Basilica. It's a big ass research though. Let's start getting through a bunch of this stuff. Dark ritual? No, I don't want that. I want Vampiric Hunger, please. Oh, Death Ray would be nice, actually. Let's pick that up. It's only two turns. Start clearing out these mana nodes. Oh, little baby reed serpent. Those guys will grow up to be very scary king reed serpents. A bunch of cadavers, which we don't want. No mercy. Oh, the cadavers are joining, are they? We're rolling through stuff pretty well. Pretty well. I guess we don't get research for them because they're not uh, living. The elementals. Uh, yeah, I guess we go up to these ruins up here now. Oh! It's Maka herself! So is she, is she to the left of us? I don't actually know. Where is her throne city? Maybe it is to the north. You might have to declare war on her right now. Right here. Oh, if we could make it to her, we would. Upgrade your leader. Um, Energy drain? What is this? Attacks from this unit have a chance to drain their energy from their targets. Okay. Infi oh, that's pretty good. I like messing up people's morale. Walker. Uh... Pass walls, useful later on. Although if we get into a wall, wall right now, it's going to be pretty useful right now. We'll grab that. Let's get some cause fear. Hmm. I think I just got some range strength. 
and that'll do. Kobold, go to where you're going, please. Oh my god, you're not even there yet. You guys, whatever, you're just gonna die. Anyway. Next turn, we might be declaring war on Maka. Where are you fellas going? Are oh, you going to Barbarus? After we get our bone collector and add it to Typhus's army, I think we will um, start. We'll replace Borker and then Borker can start building his own army at some point. Maybe just bring Borker in with this fella. Okay, so we can't make it to you yet. End turn. Oh no, she ran away. This is a tier three. This is actually a tough fight for us. A tier three fire elemental. He does massive damage and he explodes on death. Look at that fire damage. It would be really bad for us. Although he does have frost weakness. Zeti declared war on me. Where the hell are you? I will gladly war you, but I don't know where you are. Are you to my left or to my north? I have no idea. We need a scout. We're gonna get a lost soul to uh, scout for us. Please. Uh, we need to remain vigilant now. Vigilant. We don't know where Zet is going to come from. But uh, I think... Oh, we can't get to that thing. I think what we should do is bring... Some of this stuff to the front line. We'll bring Norshin to the front line. Or maybe the reanimator. If we put a reanimator in here, all of the cadavers will stay alive. So let's do that. The bird. The carrion bird can also stay up here, please. You can't make it there. You're still moving. Well done. You guys move into there. That's good. You guys are ready to roll, so we're going to take this fight finally, and hopefully not lose too much, because that freaking spider could web us and completely screw over one of our units. This place looks pretty cool. So we've got Dread Monkey, he's going to throw some crap at us, Fell Horse, Ogres, and a big threat, which is the Tier 3 Spider. What can you do for me? Magic Fist, Sphere of Protection would be good. Maybe we can get a Whale of Despair now that doesn't screw up everything. Oh, that's a pretty good hit. Pretty good chances all around. Everyone resisted apart from the Dread Monkey. Wicked. So since you're an Animal Slayer, you'll get good damage on the monkeys. And you fumbled. Oh, because he threw crap at you before. I remember now. Pledge of Protection. You can just get a range attack over here. Hunter. Good damage to these guys because you're an animal slayer. And you. Can you charm anything? Maybe. Oh, we could try and charm the spider and stuff. I mean, what kind of... Oh, you have 15 resistance. You have really bad resistance. We might be able to charm you next turn. If we throw out our fist, can we kill this guy? Yes. So I think that's worth it. I'm going to move you up slightly first to... How far can you move, Mr. Ogre? You can move to there. So we can't really move... Hopefully the Ogre goes for the Banshee. Either way... He's not going to be able to get close enough, I don't think, to kill Ella. He's not, going to be able to, he's not going to have enough attacks left. You're dead. Next turn. Who's the spider? He can't. The spider can't web. Uh-oh. I forgot they could teleport. And then webbed her. Great. Oh, Pledge of Protection taking models off our um, Royal Guard there. Which sucked a lot. Do some of this. Good damage. That is some nice damage. Uh, you can kill here. We wanted to try and charm you. So 
So it's very much sucks that we can't. You're going to do some decent damage because of Animal Slayer. Now it's just you. Do we take this attack? I'm going to lose this guy again. Hmm. He's not going to kill him. And he could do... Like... He could kill him. If he rolls well. Let's try this. Very nearly. Very nearly killed him. Two hit points left. Uh, can you do any spells for us? Nope. So we already did our magic fist, right? Maybe? Oh, it's because we have no casting points left. All oh, right, you couldn't do anything this turn. Unfortunately, we can't get her out of her net to try and charm that. I want my Banshee to level up, please. Good fight. And we got nothing for it apart from... No reward, though. That's kind of sucked. Uh, okay, we're going to bring you to the front line, Ella. And you guys can start building up a little garrison. So none of this. We need units. We need some units. I like my harpoon throwers. Research. Corpus Furia. Corpses all explode, dealing some blight damage. That's pretty good. It's only three turns. Let's grab it. Can you not move at all? No. Get up to this haste berries when you can. So we're all we're at war with Zerti. Not entirely sure where the hell she is. But we'll find her and we'll hopefully kick her ass. But that'll come in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you then.